So this is pretty interesting. Uh, so if you go to ChatGPT or if you go to Claude, look at the question I'm asking. I'm asking the same question in both of them. So I'm writing some code and I want to know the difference between task.spawn and task.defer. What are the differences? All right, so let's see what they say. ChatGPT says in Roblox Lua, both task.spawn and defer are used to run code asynchronously. Okay, it's kind of true, uh, but they have distinct uh, behaviors, whatever. Okay, what does it say for spawn? It says that it will execute the provided function asynchronously, but attempts to schedule it to run as soon as possible in the next frame. So, okay, right off the bat, that's incorrect. It runs the same frame. In fact, it runs immediately. There's no delay. Uh, it will not run any code after your task at spawn either until you get there, right? So if you go to here, there's a spoiler. Uh, if you do task.spawn, you say spawn, and I put hello below it, what's going to print first? Well, if you run that code, you see spawn shows up first, not hello, right? Because the spawn function runs immediately. It doesn't wait for anything. It goes right away. Okay, so right away, uh, ChatGPT is wrong. Let's see what it says about defer. Defers the execution until the scheduler finishes processing the current thread's task queue. Uh, I, I mean, it's kind of right, kind of wrong. It's confusing, I guess. Task defer will run at the end of the current invocation cycle. So for instance, if you have run service.heartbeat, you have run service render step, etc. Those are all you could call invocation points when Lua runs. At the end of those are when deferred functions will run. It's kind of an easy way to think about it. So pretty simple to describe, but it doesn't describe it properly. Okay, let's see what Clyde says. Okay, so it says task.spawn immediately executes the given function in a new thread. That's correct. And task.defer schedules a function to run on the next game step or frame. Okay, that's not really correct. That's confusing at the very least again. Like I said before, it just runs it at the end of the current invocation point, not next step, not the next frame. Like it even says that wrong. Task.spawn runs immediately, that's true. Task.defer waits until the next frame, that's incorrect. It does not wait until the next frame. Look at our timestamps down here. If I run this code, and I'll just wait a couple seconds to prove that, you know, the we're within the task schedule we're running. Look at our time steps. Hello and defer, or spawn and defer happen the same time. Here's a zero zero one off, but that you know that's just error in the scheduler. There you go, they're all the same there, right? It, it's running in the same frame. If it were the next frame, for instance, task that wait will wait one frame, we'd see the time being very different. See. 851, 851 for spawn and defer, and wait one frame, we have 866 for hello. So it's very different. So no, it, it does not wait the next frame, it waits to the end of the current invocation point. So that's incorrect. Okay, let's see what uh, Studio says. So ask the same question, what's the difference between spawn and defer? It says that spawn will run the code immediately, defer will schedule code to run at the next available opportunity. I think that's kind of confusing, right? What does it mean, the next available opportunity? That's not really clear. It's, it's very well defined. It's the end of the current invocation point. I, I don't know why it has to be so confusing with this. So I don't know. I guess my point here is if you're looking for technical documentation, tread lightly with AI because it's going to be confidently incorrect quite often.